Hello, today I am doing a little bit of coloring using the jar of flower stamp set and some in color markers. Um, this is what I did a few days ago and so I'm gonna recreate it with some different colors and image and show you how to do that with markers and watercolor pencils. Okay, so getting started. Um, so these were the pieces that um, we need for this. So in the sample that I showed you, I used the new in color Magneta, Magne Magneta Madness for the base of the card. Um, but I thought this one I would do in um, Midnight, nope, sorry, Misty Moonlight, <laughs> um, also another in color. So I have here the pieces and I wrote down the measurements for you of um, each of these different pieces here. And then a piece of scrap paper as well so that we can um, use to stamp and punch on. So let's move these for now. And um, here, so I'm going to use um, Memento ink and the stamps. So I read, went ahead and put it on a block here. And you can use Memento or stays on ink. Either one is fine. But a little bit darker so I'm gonna flip it around and try it again okay I can use the other side actually, actually I'm gonna stamp it twice because we need it once for the water coloring and once for um, the markers okay that was good So for the markers, so this pack, um, five of the in colors come in it. So I decided to use these, keep it simple, know I can match everything. Um, so I'm just gonna lay them out here. So you could, you know, use the blend markers to do this. Um, I'm not so good with the shading, so plain markers works for me. But some people really like to add that dimension, and so you can do that as well. All right. On video, I do go a little bit faster, but when I'm not on video, <laughs> I'm not trying to speed through the coloring here. Um, so I just, out of the corner of my eye, saw UPS pull up, which is always exciting. That means another one of my orders has come in. So I will eagerly go out and check after this. This was one of the top of my list, though. Um, so like I said before, it comes with a coordinating punch, so um, it, you can punch that jar or you don't have to um, I like to just to give it a little dimension I'll show you guys in a sec with the markers it gives the flowers a really bold color so um, and you'll see the difference when I do the watercolors watercolor pencils but I kind of like the bold you know it's really bright and cheerful that's what I'm looking for today cheerful okay so I've got nice bright roses maybe and again this is in the magneta mag magneta madness tongue twisters these colors okay um, so then I'm going to do some other colors some other flowers I mean in the bumblebee I really like this color too like a honey, honeyish color. Okay. I don't think that's it. Okay. My leaves all doing the just jade.
I'm going to skip over those other little twig things and do those in the in the blue, not blue, in Misty Moonlight. It's a little darker than I wanted. That's okay. So I'm going to cut out the flowers. So really, I can cut those out if I wanted to. And so for the last little twig thing, actually, I do like it. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to use the cinnamon cider for this one. Just to give it, an, just to use all of our colors. There you go. Okay, so there is the, um, the marker flowers. So I'm going to put those away. And get out my watercolor pencils. Switch. Okay. Watercolor pencils and a blender pen. Okay. So for the blender pen, that's what we're going to add after. So I'll get this out of the way. So um, on the back of this, you can see. So all all of these. So the markers are fifteen dollars for the five pack. The watercolor pencils, this pack I believe is $16, um, and it comes with 13 colors, including the Whisper White here. It's nice that you get more colors there, um, but the, the look is quite different. So, okay, so for my flowers, I'm going to do Melon Mambo. So again, if I wasn't being filmed, I would slow down <laughs> on this. So you can tell quite a difference already, right? I mean, this is more delicate looking for sure. Okay. So the watercolor piece, I'll just get a little scratch here. So for the, um, the blender pens, they're, reusable like like this looks like it's dirty but it's not it's just you just um color out the color so what i'm going to do is you can leave it like this but to get it give it a little bit more of a watercolor look so this has a wet tip so i'm just going to um color over with the blender pen what i just colored with the watercolor pencils just to kind of blend everything together and give it a little bit more of a watercolor finish. Otherwise, it just looks like a pencil finish, which is fine if that's what you're going for. But I really want the blended look. Okay, so there we go. So then I'm gonna use Daffodil Delight for these. Okay, so this is nice and bright here. I kind of like the pencils too. When I did this um, earlier in the week, I thought I liked the markers better, but I don't know, maybe it's this different image that I like with these pencils.
This was Bermuda Bay. So, Old Olive for my leaves. I went outside the line a little bit, but that's okay because I'm going to cut it. And let's see, I'll do a little orangey pumpkin pie for these. Just to add something different. Okay, oh yeah, I like that. All right, so, you know, I didn't clean in between. I probably should have, but you can just always brush it out. So as long as it doesn't get your other color dirty. But, you know, I don't mind that right now with this because we'll just give it an extra little look here. So I'm just rubbing out, out the color here. I'm going to cut these out and come back to you when they're cut out, okay? All right, so I've got the two um, images that I've cut out. I just um, manually cut them out, and you can see the difference here side by side. So um, let's finish up and see what all of it looks like together. And then we'll decide which one to use. Okay, so here's my jar. Isn't that cute? I think I stamped it a little too low. Again, just flip it around and do it again. Shoot, I did it again. All right, that's okay. I think that'll be fine. Okay, so then I'm going to grab my other pieces here. Oh, actually, I forgot one thing. So, um, well, you can or don't have to have them. So there's this um, image that gives you the stems of the flowers. So you can put that in the jar or not. So, mm, yeah, I'll add it. Okay. You want to make sure you're, you use the flap part. I made that mistake yesterday. Okay. And then you want to color it in um, depending on what you want to use. But first I'm going to put the rest of my card together. Okay. And I'm using the new um, stamp and seal adhesive. A lot stickier. It feels like um, we had an adhesive that was like this that was retired. It's a lot stickier. I like it. Um, so a little goes a long way here. So I just do corners in the middle. On the other example I did, I um, cut the designer series paper to go all the way across my card, but on this one I didn't, and I didn't for a reason. I didn't because, um, one, if you cut it by four, then you get more designer paper out of your um, paper, like it goes more ways, right? Um, and I kind of like the little border around. So that's, I did that intentionally. I think it looks better. Okay, so let's take a look at what they look like, both of them. So here's 
this one. The stems aren't colored yet. Um, so nice and bright. And then here is the other one with the watercolor pencils. I like that, but I like the brighter better. So I'm going to go with this one. Back to my markers here. Thought I might change my mind, but I guess I didn't. I do like the bold look better. But I guess it's a matter of choice here. All right, do the stems. Since I'm not cutting the stems out, I have to be a little more careful that I don't mess up. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this out here. Oh, I like those flowers, though. You could pop them out with dimensionals. I'm not, because I think the jar cut out gives it enough dimension. I'm going to leave that part open so that I can put a little piece of ribbon. Okay, so this is the Magneta Mag Madness ribbon. It's from the new ink color that we just were using. So I'm just going to tie a little knot and get some scissors and trim it up a bit. And I'm going to use a glue dot to put it on. So I'm using um, from the paper pumpkin kits. We get lots of these um, little glue dots. So I've got a ton of these little sheets. If you have the other ones from the roll, that's the same thing too. Okay. So voila, there we go. We've got a cute little card that was fun and relaxing and um, let's see the original here so there's the, the two side by side so um, I really like the blue background there yeah so let me know what you think and um, I'm gonna have in the details of this um, and the blog post um, how you can get all these materials okay thanks